What's up everybody, welcome back, this is Forgo, and today we're going to talk about the best characters to put reforged CTPs of energy on, and talk about which proc is actually the best form. Is it the beatdown proc, or is the all attack proc better for them? And as you can see, I did go ahead and reforge quite a few more CTPs of energy, so that way I could do some testing with multiple characters, so I could give you guys some feedback about which characters put what type of proc on for your reforged CTP. And I will bring up whether or not, you know, a rage would actually be better because generally rages are better for ABX. And I'm going to be bringing up ABX and world boss. So the first character is Null, and Null is definitely going to be the best with the rage in ABX. However, if you put a reforged CTP of energy on them, I would definitely recommend the all attack proc. Uh, reason being is you have to run around to build up the proc for the beatdown. Well, the way that Null plays with his low cooldowns, he pretty much sits in front of his opponents and just keeps continuously attacking. You don't really want to run around, and the big thing is, whenever you do his Tier 3, he'll do this big slash, and at the end, you want to go into the second skill for the utmost damage. Well, by the time you do your Tier 3, like you'll do your, your 5, 4, 2, and then your Tier 3 is ready, you'll do your Tier 3, right? Well, your 5 second proc from your beatdown is already gone. So you do the tier 3 with a second left on the proc, then go into the second skill, and boom, your proc isn't even there anyways. And I really find that having the all attack is actually better for Null. Sentry. Sentry is actually a very interesting one because he's a, mainly a PvP character, and a lot of people are going to put reforged CTPs of regeneration on him. However, if you want to play him in PvE, and he is still amazing in PvP with the CTP of energy, I would probably put the beatdown proc. I'm actually probably going to take this off of him and give him a beatdown if I end up using him. But I would put the beatdown proc on him because he plays very, very well with a proc and his movement speed is insane. So, and a lot of times when you're playing with him, you're running around anyways. So I actually think having the beatdown proc would be better for this guy. Odin is definitely going to be a rage, guys, all the way. Cable. Cable, you really want the all attack. If you're ABX focused, you want the all attack proc on this CTP of energy. I'm not really sure if a rage would be better. I mean, I guess it would. But having the all attack proc, proc which you all saw in a video that I did a few days ago, is definitely better. We did way more points. But if you want to be more of a monster and world boss, then having the beatdown proc is going to be better. Deadpool, in all honesty, I probably wouldn't even put a reforged CTP on Deadpool. But if you're going to put one on him, Put the beatdown proc because really, because he doesn't shine an ABX and he's really mainly just a world boss character. Sharon Rogers, again, not an ABX meta. And this is going to be a common theme. A lot of these characters that aren't in ABX, I'm just going to recommend the beatdown if they play well with a regular proc. And Sharon Rogers actually does. And you actually do run around. You actually do try to get three. She's just tricky to play because you got to get the damage accumulation on the three. However, when you do her tier three, she gets the maximum accumulation already. So if you run around, have your beatdown proc ready, and then do the 3, 5, tier 3, you're going to get that beatdown proc while you do the tier 3, and the damage is insane. Sharon's actually really good with this thing. And Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill is also an excellent candidate. Now, the, he is, you can use him in ABX, and if you do use him in ABX, having the all attack proc would be better. But I think most players are just going to use him in regular war boss. And the beatdown proc is going to be really well in this guy because he has super low cooldowns. You put all the skills together. Uh, he actually would be freaking insane for that thing. I, I might actually throw it, throw one on him with beatdown to see how well he would do. And I know I'm kind of rushing through these really quick because there's a lot of characters to talk about. I'm not going to go into too much detail about each of them. Gambit, the what you're looking at is the best for him. He's not an ABX meta, but in World Boss, having this beatdown proc on him is insane. This is an amazing obelisk for Gambit. He plays super well. You run around anyways. It's really good synergy with Gambit. Iron Fist. Now, this is a character that I was wrong about. Um, I actually did test him in ABX. It is Combat Hero Day. And, yeah, Moon Knight is still better or Venom. They're still better than him. Even having Jessica on the team, which really surprised me. But, yeah, I was wrong. And my Moon Knight has much less physical attack than my Iron Fist has energy attack. I mean, my I have a, almost 100% energy attack on my cards. And I have 66% physical attack on my cards. And Moon Knight still did way better than Iron Fist. So, you're really going to want to use Iron Fist 
in World Boss. So having the beatdown proc is going to be better. He plays super well with the damage proc. Moon Knight. Now, actually, for Moon Knight, you want the all attack proc on him. I'm probably going to take this off of him and put an all attack proc on him. However, if you do have the beatdown on him, he's going to be better in World Boss. He's just going to do a lot more damage, in all honesty. He actually plays pretty well because his he cancels his third and his fifth skill, and then he goes into his four. And you're still going to have that beatdown proc while you're landing your damage proc on your fourth skill, which is your main damage skill. Moon Knight actually does really well with this thing, but if you're using him in AVX, which a lot of people are, the all attack proc would be better. Now, Moonstone is actually quite interesting because I actually did a test on her, and with the beatdown, she actually did more damage in AVX than with the all attack proc. And with other characters that I've tested, the all attack was definitely better in AVX than the beatdown prop but with moonstone at least from the in tests that i did it was the same so i would highly recommend just putting a beatdown on her now let me know in the comments if any of you are running all attack and if you're doing better in abx with all attack if you had a different outcome than what i had but the beatdown seemed to be the best it's definitely the best for war boss she is freaking nutso for that thing medusa medusa i would put the beatdown on uh, Medusa is mainly just a support in ABX, and she is freaking strong as hell, plays really well with a proc. Uh, the beatdown proc would actually be really good for her, especially in World Boss. Quicksilver, I mean, I would imagine the beatdown is going to be the best for him. I'm actually probably going to test it. You can see I don't have an obelisk on him. But the thing about Quicksilver, he has such a tight rotation. You know, you do the 5 4, and then the 3 1, or the 1 3, and then 5 4, 1 3. And he has such a tight rotation, he is, you're not really moving him around. So I'm actually curious if he would be good with a beatdown versus a regular CTP of energy. I would think he would be because you'd run around, then do your 5-4, and you're going to get that pierce. And if you cancel the 3 and then the 5 and the 4, but a lot of times if you cancel the 3, it'll trigger the proc early on the 3. So, I don't know, Quicksilver is actually a very interesting candidate, but I would imagine beatdown is going to be the best. He's not an ABX meta. Silver Surfer is PvP, and that's really what you should be using him for, in all honesty. And the Rage is actually going to be the best for him. Thanos Thanos is just going to be better with the Rage. Yeah, he can do good with a Reforged CTP, but he's not a character I'd put one on, because he's just not really the strongest character. Apocalypse is definitely going to be a CTP of Judgment or Rage. He's an ABX meta. I mean, if you're going to use a Reforged CTP, the All Attack proc would be the best. Gene, all PvP, my friends. Mr. Fantastic. Actually, Mr. Fantastic is actually quite interesting because he actually does play well with a damage proc. So actually having a beatdown proc on this guy uh, would be really good. He actually would play very, very well. Although you do got to take damage from his third skill, I believe. I believe it's his third skill that has the damage accumulation. Yeah, his third skill. But man, he's pretty damn strong in all honesty, but not the best character Wolverine, I mean, Wolverine just isn't going to be that good. He's not a character I'd put one on, but if you want to make him as strong as can be, put the beatdown proc on him. Doctor Strange is rage all the way. Namor, it's rage all the way. Cyclops just isn't that good. I wouldn't put anything on him. Magneto actually can play well with a proc, but eh, I mean, he's not really the best character in all honesty. But the beatdown proc would be the best. He is not an ABX meta. Moonstone took that over. So if you want to make him as strong as can be, the beatdown proc would be the best for him. However, I still think a rage would probably still be better. Rogue, CTP of Judgment all the way. Carnage, Carnage actually can play well with a damage proc. However, the problem is he has this long cooldown on this four. And he can be pretty funky to play sometimes with it. Actually, the rage would be better, but he doesn't have guaranteed critical rate. So, I mean... Again, if you want to make him the best he can be, you'd want to put the beatdown proc on him. Hulk is really going to be PvP in all honesty, guys. Captain America, I mean, Captain America, he can play well with, he can play all right with a proc, but he's just not the best characters. You know, now we're in all these characters that just aren't the best, but yeah, if you're going to use him, put the beatdown proc on him. He's not an ABX meta. Iron Man, unfortunately, Iron Man doesn't play the best with a proc. However, he does have really fast movement speed. Maybe he would do all right. Maybe I'll try that sometime. Maybe try to put a beatdown proc on him and see how well he can play. I don't know if it's going to be better than a rage, in all honesty. 
I think the Rage is probably still going to be better. Star-Lord can actually play well with the proc. Uh, the beatdown proc would be the best. Pretty much any character that isn't an ABX meta, the beatdown proc would probably be the best. Black Widow is definitely a PvP character in my opinion. Daredevil, I would probably go with the Rage. He can play well with the proc, so actually having the beatdown would be really good on him. Luna, Rage all the way. Winter Soldier, just, he just isn't good, guys. He just isn't very good for Null or Mephisto. He can die really, really easy, even though he has the type advantage against Mephisto. Very funky play. Very hard to play, especially with Mephisto running around all over the place. Black Bolt, it's Rage. Captain Marvel, Rage. CTP of Judgment or for Rage, definitely for Ghost Rider. Thor, it's going to be a Rage or a CTP of Judgment. I don't really see the beatdown being better than a rage for him or a judgment. X23, the rage is going to be the best because she's an ABX meta. However, the all attack proc would be the best for her unless she wanted to be good in world boss, then have the beatdown on her. Rage for Mystique. Jessica just isn't that good. She's really mainly just a support character. Valkyrie, rage all the way. Not very good. Dr. Archibus actually can play well with the proc, but again, he's just not going to be the best character for her world boss i still use him in abx so i have a rage on him but you can use him with a proc and the beatdown would be the best if that's the case unless you're using him in abx and you're using a ctp of energy then the all attack proc would be the best for him uh gwenum here gwenum's kind of funky because she actually her fist skill actually kind of sits up in the air for a little while but i think she would be pretty decent with the beatdown in all honesty Unless you're using it in an ABX and you'd want that all attack proc. And now we're pretty much out of all the characters that you'd really want to even think about putting any of those on. I mean, you do have Tier 3 Storm. You do have uh, Professor X. But I think really Professor X and Storm are going to be better. Well, Storm actually probably be pretty good with a Mighty CTP. But she isn't an ABX meta. So I'd probably just slap on a the beatdown proc to make her as strong as she can be in world boss professor x because of his long cooldown on his fist skill i would put a ctp of judgment or rage on that guy for sure scarlet witch scarlet actually can play well with a regular proc but i'm not really sure how she plays with the tier three i would imagine that the rage is probably going to be the best for her but that concludes all of the characters that you could put uh, reforged CTPs on. Hopefully this will help some of you out out there as far as deciding what characters to put them on and really what characters to put a CTP of Rage on. I really want to test Quicksilver. I'm actually very curious about him. He's one I'm really not sure about. So let me know if this helps any of you out out there. And I stream on Twitch at Reset Sunday through Thursday. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.